Sandy Bull. Stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Yep, yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium-colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you'd definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, cause today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me, I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You've got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick.
Something's not right. Here they come. I've always loved that sculpture. My dear fellows. Rizzo Spectrum Water, after James the Ranger. I think we can both agree that that So Ada isn't really alive, but it... Sorry, she... She can still talk like a person. What about Sam? What's it... Sorry. He, is he the same thing? Well, Sam's an auto-mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? You know how I said Ada was special? Her wiring's a whole lot more complex. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. Huh. 
Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another Aether Wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh, dear. I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would... would you like me to make you tea? Please! This is important! Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District.
Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. I'm not sure I have ever in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment. Step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Excuse me, just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors.
What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. One person gets all this space just to, to sign paper. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about.
Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right. You weren't here when it happened. Some new young ones are talking about the custom. Oh, wow. Here comes to Finney's Wells. And, well, Tillman designed all those wanted posters. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out in the city. That the woman from downstairs is still in the cafeteria. That scientist? The one who's been pounding the clerks? Ooh, gives me the show. <laughs> Like I said, X-36 clear- And you're still not cleared.
If you see any sprats loose up here, definitely don't touch them. Move along. If you see any sprats loose up here, definitely don't touch them. Okay, keep them quiet. Huh? 
Don't let the... Sorry, I... Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. I knew it. He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sisty pig. This is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. Do these people got nothing else to occupy their time? You'll get your turn. Right now, we're talking about Theodore. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. Theodore's out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way, everyone can see you chew him out. This is going to be so good. Hold, I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And she's on her own if she runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Hold. I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157. That back failed spectacularly. What? Sauce. Watch out! Hold, I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And she's on her own if she runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Hold. Clever.
be for me. for me. Here they come! That's the last of them!
You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. 